My name is Augustin Nicholas, and for my 2020 personal project, where I'm analyzing Chef Grant Ackett, I'll be trying to recreate one of, his, one of his most famous dishes, the green almond. So let's take a look at our ingredients. We have kosher salt, cayenne pepper, almonds, we have English cucumber, brown sugar, lemons and their lemon press, and finally five gelatin sheets, all for a successful recipe. Let's get cooking! So the first step was to peel and prepare the main ingredient of the dish, the English cucumber. Obviously I peeled it thoroughly to make sure there was no skin there to pervade, to pervade the flavour. Then using basic knife skills that are very important in the kitchen, I sliced it, diced it and made it ready for the blender. Don't forget, composting is very important. Using a very sharp knife, I diced it. I diced the cucumber in no specific shape, just uh, big enough that it would fit into the blender. In it goes. Setting the blender at a very high intensity, I juiced the cucumber for about 30 seconds until it was uh, very liquid. Much like ourselves, cucumbers are 90% water, so I used a chinois to extract that valuable, flavorful juice. Uh, the chinois's purpose is to grind down large chunks into uh, and to extract the, the liquid. I weighed out 50 grams of cucumber juice to use in the first step of the recipe. That cucumber juice is then set over a pan in low heat so that it can just warm up. The next step was to start preparing the ice water for the gelatin sheets. I inserted a sizable amount of ice cubes to make sure it was sufficiently cold. The reason it's important for the water to be ice cold is so that the gelatin sheets can immerse themselves and, lose the, uh, and become pliable without necessarily losing their structure and melting. After expelling all the excess water from the gelatin, I put it in the warm cucumber juice so that it could melt, whisking it in. It was surprisingly easy to melt. After removing the pan from the heat, I put the excess uh, cucumber juice into a glass, where I then seasoned it with salt, sugar, and uh, before putting it back into the pan. It's a very important step, and it's very important to taste all the way because um, critical errors can be made at the stage, rendering the product too salty or too sweet. As you'll see in the final evaluation, that might be what happened to my situation. Now that the gelatin cucumber mixture was ready, I, was, I could put it into my mold. This wasn't the final shape I wanted, but I knew that I would prepare like this and then cut it into the shape I desired, which was a rectangle. I allowed it to set for 20 minutes into my, in my fridge so that it became solid and then I could build more layers on top of it. At this stage I added the almonds. As you can see I used two. This, uh, one of them would be my actual finished product and the other one is just a trial. The white one is the more visually appealing one so that's the one I ended up using. Back in the fridge for 20 minutes so that the layers can set again. This process, process can keep going until the layers are just perfect, but for me, I, f I found that I had what I wanted after just two. It was at this moment that I noticed these little bubbles that had accumulated. They'd been formed through carelessness on my part, dripping the, the cucumber gelatin all over this. But I realized that they could be really helpful, so I started laying some all around. Gelatin is extremely tough to work with, so I had to be careful not to tear it, or because that would just ruin the product from the get-go. Being very careful, I set it on my cutting board, and I got to work. I also prepared some piping hot water to dip the knife in before beginning the cutting. It's very important to do this before each and every cut, so that the gelatin doesn't stick to the knife and parts cleanly.
I ended up with a not very precise shape, so for my actual one, I use a stick to measure and control my knife for a very straight cut. When assembling, I added a lot of different flavour profiles to the plate. I added some lemon for the citric acidity, as well as some salt. But uh, that salt I crushed because I found it too large and I thought it would make it would look uh, bad. Once it was crushed, I carefully put it on the plate. I tried to divide the elements one per corner, but I made it so that I sprinkled some kind of all the way around so that the, the flavour can be found everywhere on it. Then I put some uh, cayenne pepper. I found that with uh, my fingers it was it was too it was too hard, so I did it with a needle, carefully placing it in the corner. This is not just you don't just eat with your mouth; you eat with your eyes. So aesthetics are very important to me, and I found that presentation was something I really worried about during this uh, creation process. Sprinkle of sugar to balance out the saltiness and the spice. This was where my uh, discovery about the little droplets of gelatin came in handy. I used them for uh, plating and decoration of the plate. I think it really had a nice effect. Um, and let's have a look at the finished product. Here is my finished product compared to Grant Agatha's. And now for the first course. Cucumber gelée, the green almond. Bon, je vais goûter. La présentation est très belle. Qu'est-ce que ça t'évoque? Bah écoute, c'est très intéressant comme goût. Euh, je trouve que l'amande et le Le, le concombre se complémente bien. Est-ce que tu sens le, le citron Je sens le citron, mais je pense qu'il aurait pu être un peu accentué. En effet. Mais au niveau du goût et de la texture, je trouve que le, la légèreté du concombre et la dureté de l'amande vont bien ensemble. Voilà, c'est mou et dur, solide. Après, il manque un peu de citron. Je comprends, un peu d'acidité. C'est le la touche que je sens le plus, c'est le salé. C'est très salé. Ah, trop de sel. Voilà, mais très intéressant, très original. Merci beaucoup. Je trouve que la présentation est très intéressante dans le sens où on, on a un univers où il y a la, la place principale et des gouttes euh, autour. Ça fait, ça, je pense que ça appelle à l'imagination. Et euh, voilà, donc ça, pour moi, personnellement, ça me fait penser à un peu à des, des gouttes euh, de pluie et euh, avec un, un petit peu de paprika sur la l'amande qui, euh, qui ramène une couleur chaude à la présentation. Et voilà, je trouve ça très, euh, très unique. Est-ce que ça te provoque une émotion De curiosité, de... Une, 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 euh, voilà, j'avoue que ça me transporte dans un univers euh, particulier. Okay. Et euh, je trouve que le choix du noir pour le plat euh, refait sortir la couleur du, du gel vert. Merci beaucoup. <rire>